Hello, welcome to the IoT Empire. I'm your host, Jolno. Let's have some coffee together and talk about tech. This is a new format I'm trying out. Especially today, I want to talk about the ESP8266. This device has literally changed my life. So why is this such a cool thing? So, but of course, first thing first. Hey, Minecraft, turn on the water kettle. Let's have some coffee. Cheers. So here we have it. This is an ESP8266. So this is actually a Vemos D1 Mini. And there are various others. You can get them in various other forms. But this is not the first one I saw. So the first one, I, when I was actually exposed to the ESP8266, that was while I was living in Indonesia. And I was in Singapore, which is close by. And I met William Hugh, a maker uh, in a makerspace, who built this board. This is the Espresso Light. And now you also understand why there's so much coffee in all my tech shorts. So this is the Espresso Light, basically designed by a person um, like you and me, and then produced in a small batch. And the next one was actually the Espresso version 2. So this is the same guy. And so this has been done in a, with a big educational background. So the chip alone is less than a US dollar per chip. And she said, Uli, the price is coming so much down. So this will really change how we design and build things. And also, because he was able to build the board, he said also the whole production process will be changed like this. So that was a couple of years ago. He also told me, hey, and Amazon just built a billion devices based on this chip. So if you know the Amazon Dash button, it's based on this ESP8266 chip. But in the meantime, lots of other devices have come out with the ESP8266. So the smallest one usually looks something like this. Or you can have this on a device with a relay. And then you have a one device from Adafruit. This is the Adafruit Feather with the ESP. Then, as I said, the Vemos usually costs around $2.50. Um, there's another $2 version. Oh, no, this is actually the one other famous version. This is a Node, Node MCU. And then we have here the uh, kind of a knockoff of the Node MCU. See, it looks a little different. There are devices where you can put a battery inside. And here's another version. And so in the, uh, the successor of it is the ESP32. So that's just a stronger version of this. So that looks like this. Or this is also uh, in ESP32, which has a built-in camera. But of course, it's not only these devices. You also find consumer devices which have these built-in. And there's where this stuff gets interesting. So what can you do with these? Yeah, then we can either you take consumer devices and you see here, you can use it in home automation. So this is a three gang switch you have seen in some other movie of mine. Um, this is a Sonoff and this can uh, also switch and measure power. So all these are kind of switches with respective buttons to control your power. And then there's one of my favorite devices which is the uh, Sonoff Basic. So this you can usually get for less than $10 and it is kind of a nice contained package and it has a relay built in to do real switching. So let's go back to the Vemos D1 Mini. And you were wondering, yeah, why is this so cool? So, and it all boils down to programmability and price. So there's, you can actually use the Arduino IDE or Platform IO or my own framework, IoT Empower, to program this device and build lots of things. You can attach various sensors, you can t attach LEDs to it. You can attach buttons to it. You can uh, attach a little screen to it. You can attach a little screen. You can attach your own LEDs to it. 
Uh, like with an Arduino, you can build tons of little things. You can attach sensors to it, temperature sensors, and very easily build your own measuring or switching station. And the cool thing is that this device, as you see, can connect to a USB port and it has the power regulation and everything in there. So if you have a device like this here, you have to do the power regulation yourself, but you see you can go even smaller. But everything is very, very uh, affordable. And so this, these are the first devices that uh, my students started buying in class. And so that was a really interesting experience for me because it was just, yeah, the price as a coffee, as a good coffee. And this is why I like the story around the espresso light so much because, yeah, then if you Google enough, you will find actually some images or maybe I kind of put it in here of uh, William and I uh, showcasing the espresso light together with the coffee. But the nice thing was, this is the first device with which I could really encourage students to go on their own projects and they bought their own devices and were going to uh, implement their own things. And I think this is a very cool device to bridge the world of software and the world of hardware. And so this, I experienced that there was so much motivation in this that was so empowering to inspire creativity in students and older persons and young uh, kids to do their own things and have access due to the low price to realize things nobody other else would have ever imagined. And I think in the beginning, I thought, how could such a device just have a revolution, revolutionary aspect? But I think for me, I can attest to the fact that it has revolutionized the way I teach. So for me, it's really the bridge from software to hardware. And you know, I'm a software engineer by trade, but I can make software engineering much, much more interesting, which exposing people to the ESP8266. And so I would suggest you should go out and buy one of these cheaper versions of the ESP. Uh, so good suggestions here are the Vemos Day One Mini, then the Node MCU, or if you want something slightly more expensive but better integrated and with more documentation, you can also go for the uh, Adafruit Feather here. And of course, if you have access and live in Asia, I highly recommend getting one of the espresso lights and maybe getting a coffee too. So let's uh, drink more espresso and explore the espresso or ESP espressive based devices. I'm looking forward to show you more. Ciao.